Yo, Dante, really quickly, um, I wanted to address this. I got a question from uh, a user on the Dante channel called the other Prodigy Twenty Four, and his question is: um, Did I notice a difference between two-handed or single-handed fury when I was making the videos? Uh, he says that one-handers to me are more appealing, but just wanted your opinion on whether there was a difference in efficiency. There actually is a difference in efficiency, but it's really, really um, preferential. So let's look at the two sides of the coin. Single minded, we got single minded fury or Titan's grip, one handers and two handers. There's two things that are very intrinsic about these two things, right? There, there are two, there's one factor that is exactly the same when you're talking about single minded fury, or Titan's grip, and that is dual wielding. Now, the way things work with rage now is if you're using a two hander, like an arms warrior, you generate 30 rage per swing. If you are dual wielding, like you do Titan's Grip or Single Minded Fury, you're generating 15 Rage per swing. Even though Single Minded Fury is two two-handers, you're still dual wielding. So after you get past that idea, you have to make a choice between do I want to get more Rage per second while in combat or hit harder on whites, right? So those are really the choices. Now, I don't, I'm not a huge three-year... Three, I'm not a... God, I'm so bad at it, I don't even know how to say it right. I'm not a huge theory craft person, but here I go. I believe if you're choosing between Titan's Grip and Single-Minded Fury, you only have to make a simple choice in your head. Do you want haste modifiers making you swing quicker with one-handers or with two-handers? And for you, is each one, which one is going to be more beneficial? And to figure out that, you have to think about how haste modifies swing speeds on two-handers and one-handers and how close to the cap you're going to get to with either one-handers or two-handers. Because there is a cap, but there's also diminishing returns. And we all know what diminishing returns are. Diminishing returns if you forgot, because people think this patch is like, oh, there's no more diminishing returns. No, there still are. The, the faster your weapon goes, the more haste rating is required to get it to go even this much faster, right? So at first it's like you're getting a great benefit from the haste rating, but once you have a decent amount, like for example, the Vrykel form gives you a decent of amount of haste. Like it's like 600 haste, right? And that's a lot of um, that's a lot of time in seconds. So beyond that, you're going to need much more haste rating to bring that time in seconds down and down and down. So that's really the argument. If you have one-handers. You, the, the time is already really short. So when haste brings it down, how mo how close are you to that diminishing return part on the haste? Because you're getting haste from, for example, if you don't have a, if you don't have a deathbringer as well, I'm sorry, but uh, flurry even comes into effect. So if we just look at flurry, uh, which is a straight percentage that is converted into haste rating, um, how whether or not you're single, uh, whether or not you're using one-handers or if you're using two two-handers, how much of a benefit is flurry? Because flurry is a greater benefit for slower weapons than it is for um, for quicker weapons. <laughs> and uh, so that's really the argument. So in my opinion, I think you generate more rage per second with one-handers if you have uh, the hit to actually hit that often. And like I had mentioned before, I think I had commented about how hit the white the white hit cap is in the 20s. I want to say it's 26%, but I could be wrong. And that's been the case since forever. The only reason it's come to the forefront now is because you can reforge hit. So all these Fury Warriors are reforging hit on their PvE gear to get to the cap so that they never miss. So they always have rage. But, excuse me, with PvP gear, you need mastery. At least right now you do. Because there's no mastery on anything in uh, at level 80. So, um, but if you can get your hit up there and have a decent amount of mastery, so that when your white swings don't miss, so so that your white swings don't miss as often, you will generate more rage per second with single-minded than you will with Titan's grip. Another thing they change with rage is uh, outside of the simple fact that you only get 30 for two-handing and um, 15 for per swing as dual wield. They also changed the fact that when we crit with white, we do not get rage equal to how amount, the amount we crit for. So crits don't matter. Crits do matter because it's fun to watch. But as far as rage generation is concerned, crits don't make a difference whatsoever anymore. Um, 
but hitting will make a huge difference. So, because if you're missing all the time, you're not generating enough rage. Now, here's a little uh, funny thing I learned about MS. Uh, the mastery for MS is like old sword spec, except you can raise the percentage, and by base, without any mastery, it's 16%. Just by purchasing the mastery and being arms, it's 16 So when you have all the mastery, uh, I think with the amount of mastery that I have on all of my gear, um, it's 32% to chance to get an extra swing. The thing of it was, when people were complaining about rage and arms, they're like, oh my god, we're not going to have enough rage, oh my god. When they said that we're going to get an extra swing, I thought, that that extra swing would generate rage. It doesn't. If you haven't noticed yet, um, it's a yellow swing. Now, does that bother me? No, because it hits like a fucking museum. Like, you hit a guy, and it's, like, disgusting. But, it, and it, it, it hits hard because it's backed up by extra attack power, I think. Right? I don't have the numbers right in front of me. But that that's how I remember it being. It, it, you hit a guy, and it's like, that, that hit is much more of a hit than it is just a regular white hit, but it comes up as a yellow hit, so you're not getting any rage for it. I thought that would have been cool to get rage for that hit, but it's not. That doesn't matter. The fact that that extra swing pops up really surprises people uh, when your arms, it's like, oh god, boom, 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 all my health is gone. How'd that happen? Extra swings. And, the, and I don't think there's a cooldown on it right now. There might be like a two-second internal cooldown or a five-second internal cooldown, but it's doesn't feel like it's there. So anyway, that's my thoughts on Rage. Single-minded or Titan's Grip. I would personally stick with, um, you know, I really can't answer that question right now. Right now, I really like one-handers simply because of the lol factor that you're using a one-hander and you're hitting a guy for, like, most of his HP. Um, but the other two, the other things that you have to think about, even if you have two, um, Wrathful one-handers, the resilience you're getting from them is not the same as the resilience you get from two Wrathful two-handers. So, that's that's the two sides of the coin in that regard. With the two two-handers that are uh, PvP weapons, you actually get Resil. I think I had like 1,400 resilience with the two two-handers, and as single-minded, I only had like 1,200-something, uh, I think it was. Because I was only getting Resil on one weapon, and it was only like 50 Resil. So... Yeah, that's what you have to think about. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that gives you something to think about while you're pwning noobs and uh, and stuff. So yes, this is why you watch the vlog channel.